Hi Saints. Um, I have to tell you about a dream that I had. I had it before, but I had it again last night. Except there was more details. The first dream I had was years from like last year, where I saw an asteroid hit the coast off of Florida. And I saw a girl laying on her stomach. She had a yellow bikini. She was a young white girl, a oh, Caucasian girl, excuse me, with blonde hair. And um It's like there was two parts of the dream. The first part of it was I saw an asteroid hit off the coast of Florida, but everybody was sleeping because you can tell that based on the position of the sun, in other words, the sun wasn't even up yet. It looked like it was dusk, just before the sun rises, I think, right? The asteroid hit, and when it hit, it was so fast all you hear is the ocean going boom, 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 like like drums, like an impact, and a huge wave went to Puerto Rico and off the coast of Florida and the Caribbean islands and into the United States. And then I heard people screaming. And then there was, a, and then um, I saw a girl laying on the beach in Florida. So it must have been, I don't know dawn or something but she was laying on the beach in Florida and I see that a tsunami was coming in and then I'm taken to a clip back to Puerto Rico after the aftermath of the asteroid most of Puerto Rico is underwater and all you see is paramedics rescue teams everywhere helicopters everywhere and and a gentleman is um, looked like he was a news reporter saying that the death toll was in the millions tens of thousands millions uh, so last night is I guess this dream was centered more on showing the asteroid coming in and then hitting the ocean because it hit the ocean in the first dream I had and then the dream I had last night it hit the ocean and then it did the same shock waves the tsunami went to Puerto Rico the Caribbean islands to Florida and and this um and went to South Carolina the southwestern states the, the states surrounding Florida so in this dream when the asteroid hit the ocean it was Again, still night outside, just before the sun rises. People were still sleeping, the asteroid hit real fast, nobody was expecting it. And then the sun started to rise a little bit, but then there was a cloud of ash forming. So that gives me reason to believe that the asteroid caused a massive earthquake or volcanic eruption and I had that latest dream last night now I know you're hearing all of this uh, information about an asteroid hitting in September and how NASA said that there's an asteroid oh sorry you guys that's two and a half miles wide and it's supposed to hit in September Lord Jesus Christ told me that an asteroid is going to hit the earth. There's no doubt about that. If it's in September, I don't know. I really don't know. I know it's going to be on the part on, on the appointed time of Jesus. And I know that it is something that is going to happen. It's going to be a very big asteroid. And it is something that's part of God's judgment. Now, it's not nothing to do with wormwood either. Something separate from that. Um, scriptures does talks about fire coming down from heaven, you know, it mentions that. Uh, Egypt had fire coming down from heaven. You got to really read the book of Exodus. That was a meteor shower. Got to really read in, into the scriptures with the Holy Spirit leading you. But that was a meteor shower, a very intense one. Um, they even had rain, but it wasn't like irregular rain, it was acid-like rain. China's experiencing that. 
So I don't want to deviate from the topic or anything like that, but I'm just saying that um, I feel like something is coming. And it's not good, and I've told you this before. And um, I asked the father more about the CERN situation, and they are trying, you see, because a long time ago, Nimrod tried to do the same thing. You know, he worshipped false gods, and he was into the occult and magic, and he, long story short, he tried to open up demonic portals using occult magic to bring in the old demonic gods here because he worshipped false gods. And he tried to have the one world order, you know, one language, and in that language, uh, there was um, a certain dialect incantations that was used to open up these portals because it was used you know, like spells black magic to open up these portals. The Bible says that God confused Nimrod's kingdom. He broke it up and he made his language confusing. In other words, God stepped in. He dissolved the language that Nimrod tried to make. God dissolved his false religion. God destroyed the tower. The tower was like the, the, the Tower of Babel. That was like a beacon. In other words, most of the rituals that Nimrod did to try to summon demons into this realm was done at the very top of the tower. You've got to read the scriptures to understand. The Tower of Babel counterfeits the Tower of the Righteous, which is the righteous, you know, the Tower of Righteous, which is God. The Bible says that when the top when the righteous are in trouble, they run to the tower, tower being Jesus Christ for protection. The Tower of Babel is counterfeit to that. The Tower of Babel was meant to help channel entities, evil entities. Bottom line is God stepped in and he shut those portals and closed them a long time ago for the good of mankind because opening those portals, messing with the occult, messing with the supernatural, opening demonic realms is very dangerous business. That's meant to be closed and open and broken down at God's appointed time, which is supposed to be in this time, the last days, in this generation. But the Father said that this is a wicked generation, for they, for they don't know what they do. And it's true. CERN, the Father told me, is a project that the government wants you to think that they're just trying to discover what atoms can do. That is not true. They have a more sinister plan, and I told you about it in a prior video. You're going to check it out on my channel. But what they're doing to add on to that is they're trying to basically finish what Nimrod did. They want to open, literally, the gates of hell. They literally want to open these demonic portals and let the demons of old in. The Enochian evil fallen angels. Enochian angels meaning the angelic watchers that God assigned to watch over mankind. And instead of watching over mankind, they mated with the local women, thereby breeding a race of giants. And that was in the time of Enoch. And uh, I think it was the time of Enoch. A little bit before. But anyway, uh, Zern is trying to do that again. They're trying to use science plus occult magic to open up these portals. You can't do it with science alone. You need a whole lot of power. Just like when Nimrod tried to do it, he used wizards and sorcerers and cultists, basically, to say spells and, you know, um, to perform black magic and open up these portals. And that's what they're trying to do, except they're trying to combine it with science. Now, if you look at CERN, notice all of the demonic symbolisms on there. Those are spells. <laughs> Gotta read them between the lies, ladies and gentlemen. Those are spells. Why do they have a picture of Shiva, the false goddess of destruction? It's a Hindu deity. False deity, excuse me. Why? 
Why do they need all of that occultism if there wasn't anything sinister behind it? Father told me that CERN will play a role in the spiritual realms being broken down. So that every time they open a demonic portal, the demonic portal, they will not be able to close it. And they've been doing this, messing with this since 2012. They want to run it again in September, I think September 15th. There's footage, the father told me, and it was on YouTube, and you know, I'm sure YouTube probably took it off, of portals open on um, CERN, you know, in CERN, the facility, and demons passing through and going into this realm. Also, uh, I saw a YouTube video about, it's an audio book, and this doctor was saying how in 2014, I believe it was, that they ran up CERN, and it went dark in the room, and it was like a mist, like the movie Mist, literally, I mean, I don't watch movies anymore, but it was like that, it was like dark, it was very misty. And they heard screams, and there was a bunch of dark shadows, and then one of the scientists was missing. The head of the CERN project was missing. And they didn't want to talk about it. He just vanished into thin air. I can tell you right now, they opened up a portal, a demonic one, up to a hell dimension, and the man was sucked in. That's just the... In this case, okay, uh... That's the only logical explanation that there is. I'm telling you right now, the only logical explanation there is is that. Um, CERN is named after a demon god, false god, who's supposed to be the son of Shiva. I think his name is Cernan, Cern something like that. C-E-R-N-N-U-N-A. You can Google it yourself. In fact, you can Google CERN opening up demonic portals. You should find the article right away. But anyway, uh, I'm cleaning up in here. Disregard the clothes, okay? I'm cleaning up. I just had to stop for a minute to tell you about this. Why did CERN name their project after a demon. You might say, oh, it's coincidence or whatever, but it's really not coincidence. Why would they name it after a demon? It doesn't make any sense. That's proof right there that they have a sinister plan. They're messing with something that they don't understand. And the father told me that every time they open a gate, he's not going to close it. It's going to stay open. And the portal is going to get bigger. That's one of the ways the spiritual realm is going to break down. That's what spiritual realm is. Spirit, the spiritual realm and the physical realm are separated by a veil. The only way to get in between both realms is through a gateway. Okay? And that gateway is the portal. Or the way that a demon can get into this realm, as I told you before, is by possessing a person. Full-blown possession. If they want to get completely into this realm, I mean full-blown possession. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not good, okay? I can't tell you how bad this is. And you can sit here and say, oh, well, that's coincidence and this sounds crazy. Let me tell you something, okay? I have my coworkers telling me that they see transparent bats. That shouldn't be happening shouldn't be happening. And there's hell testimonies of people seeing transparent bats in hell. That's that's a demonic entity that's from hell. These people are trying, these people are starting to try to mess with something that's very dangerous. They're trying to open up the demonic portals because they want to harvest that demonic energy. They're trying to open the gates of hell. They're trying to be, bring into this realm the demons of old. 
And God told me, if they're watching, Jesus told me to tell you that he has lifted his hand. You are not under his protection. Only the righteous are. And those demons are very dangerous. You have to be covered by the blood of the Lamb, even in the, in the physical realm. That the more you keep opening those portals, the more dangerous that comes through those portals will come. Or the more dangerous those demons that will arrive. And the Father said to tell you that he is not closing those portals. And he's going to make sure that you can't close them either. You want to mess with the spiritual realm? You got what you asked for and you are literally in over your head.